Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Now, if you're a VRChat player yourself, then you already know mostly everything about VRChat. There are so many things to do from playing games to talking with people. But if you're a person that likes to do photography or take pictures in VRChat, then this video is for you. Today, we're going to be taking a look at five VRChat worlds that are great to take pictures in. This is purely my opinion, though. As a photographer myself, I just find these worlds beautiful. We're going to start off from the worst and then go to the best. So without further ado, let's get into it. At the number 5, we have Amber Glade. Now this is a beautiful VR chat world that has some really amazing lighting and some also like sun effects. The, the world is a little bit hard on the performance, however it shouldn't be an issue if you're just there to take pictures. There's not much to the world other than this one main tree in the center. But again, if you have specific shots or if you're taking a picture from a specific angle, you can pull off some really, really good pictures. There is not much to talk about the world, so let's get on to the next one. Next on the list is Olympia Nights. Now this world is by Dr. Morrow. I've covered a few of his worlds in my previous videos. This world, however, doesn't focus on the lighting, but it more focuses on the background. So if you're looking for some interesting background for let's say a video or just generally to take pictures, this world can do a really good job of it. There are some nice places where the lighting is kind of good. However, you would have to fight a little bit to find specific angles and specific shots if you're looking for lighting. This world is amazing and it's really good to explore, so definitely be sure to check it out. Next on the list we have is Frality FYNN's room. Now this world is amazing and it has some beautiful, beautiful lighting. However, this one specific area is at the treetop. I'll show a little video of sped up on how to get to the tree. This place has some really nice lighting mixed with blue and pink shades. And overall, you can get some pretty nice shots in this world. It's great for lighting and it's great for the background. Overall, it is a nice and simple world, not that too hard on a performance, so definitely be sure to check it out. Second on the list is Kurotori Photo Studio. Now this world is purely focused on the quality of your image. So this world is great if you want to take some pictures of showcase to showcase your avatar, or if you want to take some pictures for a profile picture. The world has a specific built-in camera that I 100% recommend you to use as you can pull off some really good effects, almost as if the picture is rendered in Blender itself. I will show here on the screen how to actually use uh, this camera or my setup that I use. It is really simple to do, not that hard, and you even have a small control panel that you can actually control the focus, the depth, the aperture, and all the things above. There's even a few effects that you can mess with to make your images kind of appear sharp. And yeah, it's really easy to use and really nice. The background is just plain and simple, and you can as well play with the lighting, with the shadows, and with the background. So if you're specifically looking to showcase an avatar or to have a nice profile picture of your avatar, definitely check out this world. And on the first spot we have is Himel Averena. I really hope I pronounced that right, but I probably didn't. This world is beautiful, both on lighting wise and on the world aesthetic and appearance. If you're the type of person who loves sharp images and loves reflections, definitely check out this world as it is amazing for that. If your avatar has some, let's say, metallic or chrome parts, this world can basically make, it, make that pop as much as it can you get some really good reflections and you get really good lighting. And there's also two st more stages of the world, but I would say the main area that you enter is the one that you want to focus on as it has the best lighting and just overall best background. This world, however, is definitely meant for like softer looking avatars. So nothing, that, nothing too extreme or nothing too detailed, I would say. It's a pretty good world, so I definitely advise you to check it out. But that would do it for my list on the top 5 Yurcha worlds that are great to take pictures in. If there are some more worlds that are great to take pictures in, definitely list them down in the comments. Of course, to all these worlds, there will be a link in the description so you can go check it out. And of course, as always, thank you so much for watching. Stick around for more future videos coming your way. I'll see you next time. Peace.